After being skeptical about Georgie and Mandy's first marriage since it was announced, an unexpected young Sheldon update has convinced me to give it a fair shot. Having spearheaded the Big Bang Theory universe's coverage for Screen Rant, I have closely followed any updates leading to young Sheldon's cancellation and its aftermath. While I think that Chuck Lorre and his team mainly did a great job wrapping up Sheldon's childhood in Texas, I can confidently say that the series could have continued after seven seasons. There were still so many stories left to tell for the Coopers in Medford. My feelings about the matter were validated by Mima actor Annie Potts' criticism of young Sheldon's ending. Despite her comments, which were also backed by fans sharing the same sentiment, the prequel's end moved forward. While the writers were busy mapping out how Sheldon's time in his hometown would end, CBS was already working on a replacement series, a show that would be fronted by Montana Jordan and Emily Osment's Georgie and Mandy. Coming into Young Sheldon Season 7, unexpected lovers were engaged to be married. However, while I liked their story, I wasn't totally sold on the idea. There were several reasons why I was skeptical of Georgie and Mandy's sequel, which is officially titled Georgie and Mandy's First Marriage. Just to clarify, however, none of them had anything to do with the cast's acting abilities. My first concern stemmed from its format. Unlike Young Sheldon, which was a single cam series, Georgie and Mandy's first marriage will have a multi-cam setup. This means that it will film in front of a live audience and will have the controversial laugh track, just like the Big Bang Theory. Ideally, I would have wanted it to be like its parent series. Having watched both the Big Bang Theory and Young Sheldon, I prefer the latter simply because of how it had more nuanced storytelling. The prequel was able to expertly handle sensitive storylines and balance them with the right amount of humor, and I believe that being a single cam show helped in this regard. Since Georgie and Mandy's first marriage is essentially Young Sheldon's sequel, I would have wanted it to keep the same format. Not only would it help in establishing uniformity, but it would also allow the follow-up to continue its parent series' storytelling approach. Secondly, the Coopers will have minimal presence in Georgie and Mandy's first marriage. Instead, Mandy's family, the McAllisters, will be the show's extended claim. While I'm open to learning more about Jim, Audrey, and Connor, I would have wanted to see more of Mary, Missy, and Mima as they rebuild their lives after the unexpected death of George in Young Sheldon Season 7. Finally, I wonder what the point of Georgie and Mandy's first marriage is if we already know from the Big Bang Theory that they will eventually just split up.